Australia's bare-nosed wombat is one of our most adorable marsupials. Let's meet the couple who are working around the clock to try and protect them. It wasn't until we actually got together and we bought a property out west, then we come across our first wombat and it was pretty exciting. Really. Yeah, a little pinky. It was only a little tiny little fella in its mother's pouch. And she was frozen, wasn't she? She was frozen stiff to the yeah. road. Frosty old morning, there he was, and we had him for years, didn't we? Yeah. I can catch him with the net and then um, hold him down and all the medical stuff Roz does. It's all dry in there. Yeah, all right. You want to oil that? Okay, well, we'll take it to the hospital. And... The main things that we do treat are mange. You tip it on her. Get as much in there as you can. Mange is a mite. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd call it a termite that eats meat. It gets into them and it burrows in under their skin. And then all that crusting on the outsides, all their dead hair follicles and the mange poo and all that sort of stuff. But if everyone doesn't start reporting them now or start treating them, we won't have any wombats left whatsoever. Um, it'll be the same as the northern or the southern, so they'll just start getting wiped out and we really need to act now. Do a little flat back. Do a little flat, they'll play like a dog. That's the moon. My baby. The medical cost of the treatment with mange alone are quite high. Um, but what can you do? You, you've got to do it and the credit card comes in handy. Yeah, it's a good bloke invented them. Kev works pretty long hours to pay for my habits. Our main goal is the wombats and we don't think of the money it's costing us or how broke we're going to get. Mm. Um, we're spending the kids' inheritance. That's it. You know, it'd be great if we could help Roz and Kev continue their tireless work. So if you'd like to donate, all the details are on the screen.